Hello everyone, welcome back to another Let's Play Clash of Clans. So we are here once again on Derpy, my play Clash of Clans base. And what is going on today? Well, ooh, we got gems from a trunk. That's a good thing. Always remove these decorations, just free gems. On average, you'll get about 135 gems per month, which is actually a surprisingly high number if you ask me. Which means, with our 800 gems, we're actually getting relatively close to our new builder's hut. As you can see, the fourth builder's hut costs 1,000. The fifth and final one costs 2,000. It doubles each time if you didn't get that bit. Now, okay, where are we today? Ooh, another gem. Sweet, we're on a streak here. We are here with 1.25 million gold nearly on the dot. And how is this significant? Well, we are going for 2 million gold, so we can upgrade our town hall to level 8. So today is going to be my last video before I go do probably a big marathon and try to get all of that last bit of gold at once. Why is that? Well, I want to get the last gold in one big go because when you get more and more gold, you're just a more tempting target for people to attack. And I want to minimize the amount of time we've got that large amount of gold available to be stolen. So I'm going to attack here, try to get a big amount. I don't have the time right now to record it, but hopefully uh, I can record it either later today or tomorrow morning and do several episodes at once where we get up to 2 million gold. So our goal here is to get as much gold as possible. Now let's check what we have queued up. I know I should have a healer in here. Perfect. Let's queue up some giants. I think I'm going to queue up... I think 18 giants would be a good number. Now oh, we got a bunch of uh, archers queued up in here. I have archers queued because I donate them to clanmates even if I'm not actually raiding. Always good to have a couple. Then they are always finishing and your healer doesn't finish back. So if that's what uh, <laughs> you have uh, queued up in the other ones. Uh, I think I need three in here. I think it's close enough. We'll figure out the rest later. And I'll just add some random guys. And just so the builder's hut is always, or the uh, barracks is always working. We're gonna break our two hour shield and go on the offensive. Like I said, looking for gold. Alright, so, uh, when we're looking for gold here, I don't really have a set amount that I'm looking for. Anywhere north of 100,000, I'm going to consider. I'm not really sure what we'll get. If you guys missed the last episode, we're now down at a lower trophy count. So I dropped down to around 1,200. I won some on de some defensive battles, so that popped right back up again. Ooh, those resources look pretty good. Now, is it because they're inactive? Very possible, very possible. Uh, this base is looking fairly inactive. The fact that there are tombstones over here, the fact that the Dark Elixir storage, or collector right here is full, Da da da! right there. Uh, those are possible signs of being inactive. Unfortunately, the gold mines are really spread out, so it's hard to uh, determine that for sure. I'm going to try it with... Oh yeah, we'll use a minion right here. So I'm just going to deploy a minion to... Yeah, bastards. It did reveal there was a hidden Tesla right there, though, so that's sort of handy, I guess. I was going to have it attack and determine how much resources there are. But clearly that got shot down. I'm going to use an archer right here. A couple archers. See how many resources they steal. Okay, they're stealing 700 resources per arrow hit. That is a ton. So we're definitely going to attack this base. Um, let's draw the Barbarian King out and slaughter him. So he, I activated him with those other units. So I'm just going to place one out here and draw him out. And then we'll place more. Now, this isn't going to be a big, super big attack. The goal of this is going to be to raid and get out of here, especially with the gold mines spread out. Uh, I think that that is going to be a good goal. I'm, so I'm going to use giants, is what I'm trying to say, to distract, but I'm not going to be using my healer, most likely. So, a couple giants, blah, blah, blah. A couple archers. I think I'm going to use my clan castle uh, in a second to get the other gold mines in the bottom right here, as well as possibly some wall breakers to break in. Have to determine that still. Mm hmm. We can use goblins for some of these. Yeah, we'll distract with giants, and then we'll use goblins on these ones. Huh, we're in whatever that Tesla went. That was weird. We saw a Tesla before, didn't you? So, the barbarians are going to go in there, and then let's drop the clan castle right here. And good, most of the archers are going in there. And this should get lots and lots of yummy resources. Uh, I don't want to spread out, like, deploy all your barbarians at once, because they'll go just go within range of the wizard tower. 
and the mortar. That's not a good plan. However, you do want to keep a couple deployed, so hopefully they don't target down the archer tower, the archers, which will generally stay more grouped up, and you don't want them all to die. So yes, that's the purpose behind that right there. So there's some good gold. What are we missing out on? So there's two gold up here. Um, clearly there's some in the storage, so this base perhaps is not completely abandoned, but partially. Da, da, da. I don't think we have uh, that many great units to deal with it, though, so I'm not sure... No, you know what we can do? I'm going to do a minion attack. Oh, perfect. Okay, so that was actually the uh, the bomb de deploying. I thought it was a Tesla. So we're going to do the minions in the last uh, couple seconds here. What they're going to do is take advantage of the fact that there's no anti-air covering uh, and the fact that the archer tower went down. So we should be able to get at least some good elixir. Uh, I'm not sure about the rest. Now, uh, taking some damage on that one, unfortunately. Oh, well. We got some good elixir from it, for sure. Uh, probably at least 20,000 elixir, which makes it worth it, if you ask me. And time runs out with 111,000 stolen, 113,000 stolen. Now, the question is, could I have deployed more heavily? So, the problem with deploying more heavily is, if it works completely, you'll get everything. Uh, because you'll attack really heavily from one side. If it doesn't work, though, what happens is you really miss out on a lot. So I took the safer option of not going uh, on a full-out attack on one side, instead spreading out on two sides with no intention of three-starring. Uh, I used my units as distractionaries, and that's sort of how it worked out. Now, we're going to have two healers, I do believe. Yes, indeed we do. So I'll have to decide how I want to deal with those. also need to cancel some of these giants before they all finish, because we have 17 giants already. We don't want any more than that. Okay, cancel that one. Uh, cancel this one. We'll put some goblins in its place. I'll just queue up the units right here, guys, and I will be back in just a minute to uh, talk about some other stuff. See you guys soon. Alright, guys, welcome back. We got units queued up, and they'll be finishing over the next few minutes, and then we can go on the offensive once again. Try to get some more resources, and uh, get us closer to that 2 million, so we don't have to do quite as long as a marathon as I was talking about before. Now, how have we been defending? So, I did drop down in the trophy, so as you can see, I am at 1271 right now. So, by throwing the town hall outside the walls, I expect lots of 1 stars, and look at that, lots of 1 stars. Uh, let's, let's see, two of them won went on a heavier attacks, so that's interesting right there. And, uh, or one of them went on a heavier attack, that's right here. You can tell these was, these two, top two only did light attacks, because they only got 1,000 of each resource. The guy in the bottom, looks like he went more all out, so we are going to go load that up. Now, I should say that, uh, as soon as I dropped, uh, someone revenged me. Oh, I thought someone revenged me. Hmm, maybe not. All right, let's just load this one up. Oh, we got another one here. Oh, this guy did good against us. Let's check it out. Our defense won, technically, but I bet he's just going to sack himself into the storages and uh, go for the resources, which is probably what I do in his situation as well. So he's going to avoid the town hall, I'm sure. I wonder if he's going to try to destroy the mortar with uh, another lightning. Hmm, nope. And here come the clan castle guys. Giants coming in. Barbarian king right away. Uh, interesting. Only Barbarian King level 1, and it's already very dead. It looks like he deployed it first as a damage soak. I don't really agree with that. Its damage is actually good. You should try to keep it alive with the giants, but instead it looks like he deployed it first. So it attracted all the fire. Archers are going to be doing the, uh, the large amounts of the damage. We have wall breakers coming in now. You can see them spreading out, which is great. That's exactly what I want them to do. Clan got the guys. Ooh, level 5, or level 6 barbarians. Very nice. I wish I had some of those myself. And hog rider. Alright, so we're getting attacked by hog rider. Um, the mortar's doing some decent splash. These goblins and archers should get pretty splashed up. Wow, that was a lot of guys that died right there in that one hit. As you can tell, though, I do have a good amount of resources in these uh, collectors and mines, uncollected, so his goblins are getting a good number of resources out there. Meanwhile, on the top, another band of them is moving around. I'm curious if he's going to deploy any more heavily from here. So, the only part that... Okay, there we go. So he wants to get into the gold storage in the center. Oh, wizard tower, stop stutter-stepping. Stop stutter-stepping. All right, that was interesting. So I think I'm going to go replay this and come back to that part. But as you saw, those goblins uh, were able to get in and nearly kill the gold storage really quickly. Just there were so many of them alive. So there's an interesting concept here where the wizard tower stutters. So I'm going to hit play again and fast forward towards the end. 
What happens when the wizard stutters is it looks like it's going to cast a lightning or uh, a little bolt at the guys and kill it, but instead it actually uh, doesn't fire, and then it does it again. And sometimes it does it again and again and again and again, and it never fires and never kills a unit. So you're really hoping it kills. So I'll, I'll explain why. It happens when it's targeting a unit, and that unit ends up uh, dying before it can actually cast its spell. This means that it doesn't complete the cast, and so it searches for a new target. Now, if that target also dies before it casts a spell, then the same thing happens once again. So, you, it's just bad luck, and it's caused by having both point defenses and wizards close to one another. Really not much you can do about it. So, we're going to see it right here in action. This, uh, I really hope this bug gets fixed in the near future. Uh, it's hard to know if it will. It's been around for a while, I'll tell you that. It can happen to both wizard towers and mortars. Alright, ready guys? Watch the wizard tower right here. So, it's going to cast, cast once, tries to cast, tries to cast, tries to cast, tries to cast, then it casts. Yeah, so if it had gotten any of those four, I think it was, casts off correctly, yeah, it wouldn't have been bad. It's, you see it did it there again with those last three golems that came in. The first one, it died to this cannon first and it didn't actually cast. In that case, it didn't matter because there's only three. But in the case when there's a pack of 50 of them, yeah, not good. All right, I'm going to head back. Our troops should be all trained up. I'm glad I actually had to show that off. It generally doesn't happen too often in my base. Some people experience it a lot. Only suggestion I can do is, if you're experiencing it a lot, try just rearranging how your uh, archer towers and cannons are, just the range they are from their wizard towers, just so it just hopefully won't happen. Beyond that, guys, let's see what is uh, what we can do with this next attack. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, we got a couple last guys finishing. I'll spread out this last Barbarian so it is slightly faster. Oh, uh, wait, do I have a healer? Yeah, I, I did queue up an extra healer. Good. Perfect. So, as soon as these last two Barbarians finish up, we are good to go. I will queue up Giants, just in case. And I think I'm going to queue up my full 18, just because, why not? I guess if we don't use them, then there's the problem. We, we, we can get too many, which nearly happened to us last time. Alright, though, we are ready to go in the attack as soon as these six giants are complete. And that last barbarian is done. And that is now happens. So let's go. Anywhere north of 100,000 gold I'm looking for. Wish I could be a little more successful than last time, although it wasn't bad. Um... If that base had the gold mines close together, that would have been a very easy lot of resources stolen. Unfortunately, got to take what comes at us, and I felt that it was a good opportunity to get at least decent resources. And I and I did screw up. Um, if you're confused at all with that Tesla slash bom air bomb thing that was going on, what ended up happening was I saw the air bomb deploy, and the animation for it deploying is it comes out of a little trap door. And I thought it was actually a Tesla that was deploying. In fact, it wasn't a Tesla, and uh, it was an air bomb instead. So I got confused. I thought both a Tesla and an air bomb deployed when it's only an air bomb. Uh, I just happened to be zoomed in. I'm not usually so zoomed in. Plus, I mean, you don't see air bombs that often. I see them for healers, but honestly, like I just ignore them because it's like, ha, air bomb, healer. Yeah, that's not doing anything. Yeah, because the air bombs just don't do enough against healers to make any significant difference. Against minions, though, minions, they do take out in the masses, which is why, after I knew he had air bombs in, around his base, I only deployed uh, a single minion on the left side, the, back, the, corner le the left side of his base over that corner. Uh, normally people would, uh, you would probably want to deploy all your guys at once, but if you expect air bombs, definitely deploy one at a time. The splash from the air mines right there, they'll just ruin all of your minions in a huge radius. Now, this is an interesting base. I could take this guy on. 137,000. So this base, I feel fairly confident. I feel like 90% sure I could take this guy out completely. But at the same time, it's not the same number of resources as that other one, so is it worth it? Uh, Clan Castle, Barbarian King, both are fairly well placed. Teslas will be in the center. I, I'm going to skip this. I'd like to find something with a little more than 137,000. I'm not looking for the elixir, so that's not of concern, really. Oh, I forgot about those. I wonder, we should probably should check. Okay, so we're now full. Always important to know exactly what you have and how full it is when you go into battle. I forgot that I'd requested troops because I had deployed them. So thank you for those clanmates. Alright, here's a newly Town Hall 7. Why do I say that? Well, his Archer Tower up here is a noob level, so he's clearly a new one he just unlocked. He was, in fact, a level 1, so yeah, pretty impressive. You don't actually see those very often. 
All right, this guy, once again, has lots of uncollected resources. So if we think that these 55,000 gold coins are worth it, we could attack this guy fairly easily. I don't think it's worth our time. Um, if I was just attacking on my own, maybe I would do it. it you would only have to probably deploy 10 archers. But because I'm recording a video... Uh, I don't really want to waste your guys' time on something where we're just watching archers ping away. But that's a decision you have to make. Do I value... Well, when you need to ask yourself, do I value my time enough to attack this base for 55,000 gold, even if it's a very large profit? It'll take a couple minutes and a couple more minutes to retrain. But I would probably at least seriously consider it if I was just playing uh, off-camera. Now, that was another one which could potentially have a good amount in the gold mines, and the gold mines were cl close together. What is this? We're seeing lots of new bases all of a sudden. Did I, like, pass below some trophy count that's needed? All right, so I am going to attack this guy. So he's got, like, pretty much the exact same resources as the other one. However, the big difference in this is it's a newbie base, and that means I am 100% sure I can take absolutely everything out in this base. Um, bearing acts of disconnection of internet... We're going to be just fine. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much the only thing that's going to stop me at this point. So, we're going to start off with a wall breaker, and then giants. We're only going to deploy one healer, because we only need one healer. Wait until the air defense goes down, and drop it. Perfect. These guys should stay nice and alive. Now, I'm not going to play archers to take out the wizard tower, because it's going. it would start shooting at the archers right away. As you see, it's shooting at the wizard, or the the healer going to deploy my very few archers over here to deal with this. Why do I pick off this guy? Well, he's behind a wall, so just picking him off means that giants won't go for him, which is fine. You might think that I should pick off the wizard tower because it's attacking the healer, but yeah, look at the healer. The healer's like, wizard tower, you're puny, dude. He's just shrugging them off. He's probably been hit 20 times already, and he's still like more than half health. So yeah, I'm not worried about that guy dying at all. He'll probably walk out of range of the wizard tower before uh, hit actually manages to kill him, and if not, well, it doesn't really matter because uh, the, the giants will, uh, they're all still alive. I expect we have 18 still alive right now, if I could possibly manage to count them. Uh, if not, we've still got way enough to finish off this base, so yeah, like I said, I'm not really worried about uh, getting this done. Let's deploy a couple more random guys, just so this process is sped up a little bit. Check the corners. I don't really expect anything to be in the corners because the builder's huts are here and available and visible after all. Now, the giants should be going after the last wizard tower. And indeed they are. I'm going to deploy a couple more guys just to make it go a little faster. Once again, uh, no need to waste your time on it. But if you're just going for pure efficiency, I would probably just like go browse Reddit or something and for the next minute and a quarter while I know my giants will finish off collecting all the resources in this base. And just like that, you can look at the gold count in the top right. We are a hair short of 1.5 million. So this is actually uh, pretty much exactly what I was hoping to do. I was hoping to get to 1.5 million because I consider half a million a pretty good amount to do a little marathon session on. I expect it'll only be maybe two videos to get at this point, because uh, half a million, hopefully we'll be able to find some good matches. Maybe to make it a little more challenging for myself, I'll attack during a busy hour of the day, when we have to really have a harder decision for what bases we pick. But right like that, we got uh, half a million gold to go. And hopefully, and well, the thing is, we could get some of it stolen as soon as someone comes and attacks us. So that that is one concern. Uh, and there's really not much we can do about it to mitigate that risk. So I'm not really going to worry about it overly much. Instead, I am going to wrap up this video right here. To finish us off, I'm going to do something I haven't done in a while. I'm going to come in here, and we're going to review someone's base. So this was the guy who attacked us and got some good resources. We are going to go visit him, and you guys can tell me in the comment section how you would attack this base. Now, I like doing this because I get to see all your guys' suggestions, and it's a good opportunity for you guys to interact with one another and with me. Oh, it's partially destroyed. That's too bad. Let's see, what level town hall is he? I expect, yeah, town hall 8. So it looks like he's pretty high leveled, you can tell just from like the level 6 wizard tower and the level 8 walls. So I'm not surprised to see that he is a town hall 8. Well, let's review this all the same. It does. It is a fairly symmetrical base, so I don't think you guys will have too much trouble sort of extrapolating the missing parts. 
The levels of the buildings are interesting to note. So the wizard is level six, but the mortars uh, and and the mortar is level six as well. But the cannons and the archers are rather lacking. So this archer is level six. This one is level eight. Uh, these ones over here are I think seven, seven, eight. Hard to tell on the screen. And then some cannons. They're not maxed either. Basically, my point is, all these. Uh, single defenses could be a lot higher level. Also, the fact that he's upgrading his Teslas, uh, combine that in, in as well, means that uh, can't uh, that mortars would actually or <laughs> mortars that giants would be very effective against his base. The things that take out giants is cannons and archer towers and Teslas. Mortars and wizards just don't do enough damage to individual units to take to compensate for a healer's uh, heal. So I think that giant healer would be very effective against this base. However, you guys can let me know what you think in the comments section uh, and how you would attack this guy's base. Now, I am going to check the number of resources. Oh boy. 20,000 Dark Elixir. And, oh man, 1.6 million... Uh, elixir just in that one, so a lot more in that, and no gold. He probably should have moved, moved his gold storage out. So, uh, yes, that right there shows this base is very likely worth attacking. And if not, perhaps you would be interested in triple lightning the base. That is definitely an option as well. Alright guys, that's going to wrap it up right here. Thank you very much for watching this Let's Play. If you have not subscribed, please do consider subscribing. I'm putting out Clash of Clans videos every single day, if I possibly can. And beyond that, I have uh, some other content out as well. Some strategy guys, not just Let's Plays. Strategy, high-level stuff. i got two accounts. All that fun stuff. Now, if you guys already are subscribed, thank you very much for subscribing. I do appreciate your guys' ongoing support. And you can show that by liking and commenting below. All right, guys, that is going to wrap it up. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.